Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane, Namaste Sarasati Devi Koravani Precharine, Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Dejatarine, Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Vanchakaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vayeva Cha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha So we're recounting the pastimes of Gopkumar, a cowherd boy from Govardhan, which is described in a book by Sanatana Goswami called the Brihad Bhagavatamrita. So Kumar is giving instruction to a Brahmana from Mathura about how he made how he made use of a mantra to travel to all the places throughout the material and spiritual world. It's unstable, Guru Mani, so sometimes you may hear me, yes. sometimes you may not. So, okay, so we're, I understand, I understand, Maharaj. So we're hearing, we're, uh, Gop Kumar was, was uh, giving his association to that Brahmana from Mathura and by that association the Mathura Brahmana became very inspired in devotional service. So we're, go we're, going, we're going through a purport, a, a very long purport, given by Sanatana Goswami, about the value of association. And so one of the quotations which he's given in the commentary is a a reference, a quote given by Prahlad Maharaj about the importance of association. Oh, here's one verse which is from the seventh canto where Prahlad Maharaj said, we have to get the dust from the lotus feet of the devotee who has no material attachment, who has no material desires. So, before Prahlad said this, he had described his concern for the ignorant materialistic people. They cannot understand the importance of, understand, of, of self realization. So their only hope is to somehow bathe in the dust of the pure devotees. 
they have to find the association of people who have no interest in anything else but devotional service. Without the mercy of these great devotees, these materialists will never be able to understand the importance of bhakti yoga. They will never understand it theoretically even what to speak of the the actual facts of it. Then there's another statement given here by King Muchukunda. Right. Mochi Kunda is described in the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam in the pastimes of Krishna that he had been a great king, a great Kshatriya and he'd been fighting on behalf of the demigods for a long time and he was very tired. So the demigods gave him a benediction that he could sleep for as long as he wanted. And they told him that if somebody wakes you up, then when, when you open your eyes, fire will come out from your eyes and you'll burn them to ashes. So it happened one time Krishna was fighting with another king. When Krishna was still living in Mathura, he had to fight against Jarasandha and then one time he had to fight against Kalanimi. Kalanimi. Jarasandha Kalanimi. Jarasandha was a, another king, a rival king who hated Krishna and he fought with Krishna. And then another time this other person came, Kalanimi, and he came with a big army and he also wanted to fight Krishna. So Krishna led the he led this demon up to the up the mountain. And he, then Krishna went into the cave. The demon was chasing Krishna and Krishna just w went up the mountain. So the demon came after Krishna climbing the mountain and then Krishna went into a cave and the demon went into a cave also. And in that cave, Muchi Kunda was laying sleeping. So Krishna so when, Muchi Kun, uh, well, when the demon saw that Muchi Kunda laying sleeping there, he thought that Muchi Kunda was Krishna and he kicked him. And so Muchi Kunda woke up and from his eyes fire came out and the demon burned to ashes. Krishna 
从他的眼中立刻冒出一团烈火，把这个恶魔，把他踢他的恶魔就烧成了灰烬了。So, uh, so Krishna knew, of course, this demon was there, and Krishna arranged all of this. 主 Krishna 他一清二楚，就这个呃。So Krishna came and met with Muchi Kunda, and Muchi Kunda offered prayers to Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna 就又过来来会见 Muchi Kunda 王 ，Muchi Kunda 王一见到主 Krishna， 立刻献上祈祷。And he told he told Lord Krishna, he said. When the material life of a of a person comes to an end, then he may get the association of Krishna's devotees. Muchi Kunda 王向 Krishna 祈祷说，当一个人的物质生活达到了终点之后，他就可以得到主 Krishna 奉献者的联谊。And then, with the association of devotees. Then he awakens devotion to Krishna, and and the goal of the devotees, and the, and the, well, he awakens devotion to Krishna, and Krishna, of course, is the goal of devotional service to know Krishna. 倘若一个人能得到主 Krishna 奉献者的联谊，他就能够唤醒对主 Krishna 内心的奉爱。那么，奉献服务就是人生的目标所在。So only after they're fed up with material life are they allowed to come in touch with devotees. 只有当一个人对物质生活已经厌倦透顶的时候，他就能够接触到奉献者了。The, the, one has to be tired of the material world, and then we can take proper advantage of the association of devotees. 一个人必须对物质世界已经彻底了，彻底的厌倦之后呢，他就可以充分的完全利用奉献者的联谊。So by the association of devotees, some people become fortunate and they get free from birth and death. 通过奉献者的联谊，一个人就会鸿运当头，他就能摆脱生死轮回了。And some who are even more fortunate, they may develop love for the supreme lord. 然而，嗯，更加幸运的是，一个人甚至发展出对 Krishna 的奉爱。And if they're not fortunate enough to、uh, to get love for the supreme lord, at least they have to learn how to serve the lord. 倘若一个人还不够幸运，得到了对至尊主的爱，至少他应该学习怎样去服务至尊主。Some people, like most of us, you know, we're not so qualified to develop Krishna prem. But at least we can become Krishna Das. 比如说，就像我们，我们没有那么，我们没有资格发展出 Krishna Prema， 对 Krishna 爱。但是至少我们应该成为 Krishna Das， Krishna 的仆人。So Krishna says the same thing in the eleventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. He describes. He said, just as cold. And fear and darkness are removed when one approaches the heat of a fire. So, maybe you translate that. Oh, okay. So, 就在圣典博加瓦坛第十一篇，就讲有这样一句声明：正如当一个人接近火的热量的时候，自然而然的。他的寒冷，他的恐惧，还有他的，还有四周的黑暗，都消失殆尽。So in the same way,、uh, our 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 fear, our dullness, and our fear and our ignorance are are destroyed 
when we engage in serving the devotees. Devotees of the Lord, when, the, when, we're, when we are fixed in absolute knowledge, then we are peaceful. And we can give shelter to the people who are suffering in the material life. So devotees like just like somebody just like a boat that comes to rescue somebody who's in drowning. So the devotees are like that person coming in the boat to save somebody who's who's drowning. The devotees save people from the ocean of material suffering. So just like everybody, we need food to maintain our life. So the same way, uh, the, everybody needs to have some kind of shelter in distress. And when people are dying and leaving this world, then it's good for them if they also have some religion. So the devotees, they're the best people to give shelter to people in a miserable condition of life. With the help of the sun, we can see everything around us. But with the help of devotees, we, we can see with divine eyes. So devotees are the, the real family. And they are the ones, they are, they, are, they are actually our own self, they are not different from Krishna. Just like when we approach a fire, because there's some heat from the fire, we get relief from darkness and, and we become, we're not so afraid of snakes and wild animals. In the same way, by being with a devotee, a, a pure Vaishnava, we don't have to be afraid of materialistic life. And we don't have to worry about what's going to happen in the future. And we don't, 
and we, we don't have to worry about forgetting about uh, the, all the ignorance of material life and all the fear of material life. So we can get the blessings of a Vaishnava by serving them even in separation. And the pure devotees who know the Absolute Truth, who understand the Lord in Vrindavan, they can deliver people caught in the, in the, in the wheel of birth and death. Because the devotees have understood the glories of Krishna, so they can give these, this mercy to others. And so this this is the the essence of all the Vedic teachings. Okay, devotees are always peaceful and unagitated. They're not even worried about being liberated. And they give, they can give fortunate people, they can give them spiritual vision. And with that spiritual vision, they can understand both the personal and the impersonal features of the Absolute Truth. And they can understand different ways of practicing bhakti yoga. So this is the mercy of devotees. But the sun, the light of the sun, that gives light. And it's only in a very limited way, but the, by the help of devotees, we can see much more. One single devotee, a pure devotee, is equal to all the demigods combined together. So it's, it's not possible to tell all the glories of a devotee, pure devotees. So pure devotees, they are best friends. They are the source of they give us life, they make our life some, give some purpose to our life. So the, the, these pure devotees are not different from Krishna. So in the Bhagavatam, Lord Krishna says to Uddhava, he said, Krishna told Uddhava, I'm going to tell you something very confidential because you are my servant and my companion. So Krishna 
So Krishna told Uddhava, by associating with the, my pure devotees, we can get free of all of our attachment for the material sense gratification. And that, that by getting purified by that association, I come under their control. So somebody else, they may do Astanga Yoga or they may, they may do philosophical analysis of the elements of the material world. And somebody, some other people, they may practice non-violence or they may practice principles of piety or chant the Vedas. Yeah, chant Vedic mantras. Yeah. Or they may do penances, or they may take to the renounced order of life. Or they may dig, dig the ground to make wells, to get water, drinking water, or they may plant, plant trees, or perform other kinds of public welfare activities. Or they may give charity or follow, worship the demigods. They may chant mantras and they may go to holy places. But even by performing all these activities, they don't bring Krishna under their control. Just like in Patanjali Yoga Sutra, he teaches the Astanga Yoga. So the first two parts of Patanjali Yoga is the, the Yam and the Niyam. Yama means the major rule, the major regulations, the important things you have to do. And the niyam is the minor regulations, the smaller things which you have to do. So Krishna told all of these to Uddhava. And it's all in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the 11th canto, 19th chapter. Mm. First is non violence and then truthfulness. And then the third, the third thing is one will not try to steal or take any other person's property. And then detachment and humility. And then one should not think himself to, put, to own anything. He shouldn't think anything belongs to him. 
，不不要认为自己有任何的拥有事物，他不要把任何事物就就认为自己拥有他们属于自己。And you should practice celibacy and be silent and be very steady. 他还要呃奉行遵守，保持缄默，嗯，并且呃稳定。And you should be willing to forgive others, and you should be fearless. So these are the twelve primary rules which they have to practice. And, the, and then next thing is internal cleanliness and external cleanliness. 就是内在的清洁和外在清洁。And then chanting the holy names of the Lord, and austerity and sacrifice. 接下来是唱诵主的圣名，苦行献祭。And one should have faith, and one should be very hospitable, hospitable, hospitable to others. 一个人还应当有信心，并且呃，热爱款待客人。And he should worship the Lord, and he should visit holy places, and act act for the benefit for for the supreme for the highest benefit for the for the supreme cause. 一个一个人还应当。呃，崇拜主，拜访圣地，以及为了最高的事业而献身。And he should be satisfied in whatever situation he is in, and he should do service for the guru. 他应当在任何情况下都内心感到满足。他应当服务 guru. So these are the twelve items which are regular performed. Perform regularly. This is in a person should be regularly performing the activities. So that's altogether twenty-four different rules which people have to follow, and if they follow these, then they get all benedictions. This is a person should be following the twenty-four rules. If he follows these, then he gets all So in the association of pure devotees, it means that we we're not affected by material attachment. We we will not have any material attachment. 倘若一个人得到呃纯粹奉献者的联谊，他就不再有物质的依附了。And in the association of pure devotees, we will become more attached to Krishna and hearing about Krishna's pastimes, as pastimes in Vaikuntha, and now we'll hear, like to hear about Goloka, and we like to, we take pleasure in all of this in the association of pure devotees. 倘若人得到纯粹奉献者的联谊，他就进一步获得对 Krishna 的依恋。他喜欢聆听 Krishna 消，呃，消时光，无论是在百昆塔也好，在 Goloka 也罢，他都能够快乐的，嗯、呃，得，嗯、呃，与纯粹奉献者为伴。So we may not be able to get direct contact with the pure devotees, but if we just hear what they said, if we're hearing about the words of these pure devotees, we'll get the greatest benefit. 我们可能无法得到这样纯粹奉献者的直接亲身联谊，但是，嗯，倘若能够聆听他们的话语，也能得到最大的好处。So this was said, said by Vidura in the third canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. He said, "Persons, if somebody hears from a guru for a long time and makes a great effort to hear, then." His character and activity. If, if 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 he hears about the pure devotee's character and activities, then it will help him to get liberation. 嗯
，在《圣女佛教法坛》第三篇当中，为诸人说：倘若一个人努力的长期聆听咕噜，他他就呃，他能努力的去了解一位纯粹奉献者的性格和活动，他就能够得到解脱。And Dhruva Maharaj says the same thing also in the fourth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam. Dhruva Maharaj in the Sri Nirmal Java Tan, the fourth canto, also said the same thing. Dhruva Maharaj said, just by meditating on your lotus feet or hearing about your pure devotees, we get so much bliss. Dhruva Maharaj said. 仅仅是冥冥想您的莲花足，或者是聆听您的纯粹奉献者的话语，一个人就能得到极乐。And that pleasure which we get from it is far beyond the the the, the pleasure of Brahmanda, where where we think ourselves one with the impersonal Brahman. It's the pleasure we're getting from the thinking of you. Is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this method, through meditating on you, through the pleasure of hearing you, is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this method, through meditating on you, through the pleasure of hearing you, is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this method, through meditating on you, through the pleasure of hearing you, is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this method, through meditating on you, through the pleasure of hearing you, is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this method, through meditating on you, through the pleasure of hearing you, is much greater than the pleasure of becoming one with you. He says, "Um, one person through this There may be some happiness in going to the heavenly planets, but that's also finished in the course of time, and it doesn't equal the happiness of devotional service. 人去天堂，也许会得到一点点快乐，但是这样的快乐是有始有终的，是无法跟奉爱服务相媲美。So, in contact with the pure devotee, success in life is guaranteed. And even we may not get the com direct company, but if we get the company of the devotee of his devotees, that can also give us perfection. 呃，这位纯粹奉献者的陪伴和联谊，但是他们得到这个纯粹奉献者的奉献者的联谊，他的生命也能会达到完美。So Dhruva Maharaj says, if a person happens to associate with someone whose heart, whose heart. Broke, whose heart, whose heart wants to have the association of your devotees, then their heart will always want to. Uh, uh, then, if some no, was it? Wait, if a person wants to associate with someone who who who. If a person wants to associate with someone who wants to also have the lotus feet of the devotees, then that is also good association. Yeah, because these people, then it's never attached to the material body, and he's not thinking about the body relationships, about the friends or the money or the home or the wife. So if you get their association, then they can help us also to become perfect. 
倘若人得到这样的人的联谊，他们的生命也能达到完美。So those who have got pure love for the lotus feet of Krishna, they do not identify themselves with the body. 倘若一个人拥有对 Krishna 莲花族的纯粹奉爱，他就不会认同于躯体。So, in the words of Lord Vishnu's Hamsa avatar, described in the eleventh canto, he describes. Hamsa avatar, the swan incarnation. He says, just like a drunken man doesn't notice whether or not he's wearing his shirt or his coat. 主主威士在释迦佛教法坛第十一篇当中，主威士鲁的 Hamsa avatar， 天罗化身，这样说道。就像一个醉汉，他意识不到自己有没有穿着外套或者衬衫。So somebody in the same way, somebody who is perfect in self-realization and who has understood his spiritual identity, he doesn't notice the material body, whether he's sitting or standing. 同样的方式，一位自我觉悟了的灵魂。他明白到他灵性的身体，他就无论是坐、坐着还是站着，他都意识不到自己的躯体、躯壳。Yeah, sometimes by Krishna's arrangement, the body is finished, or by Krishna's arrangement, he gets a new body, but the self-realized soul doesn't notice. 有有时候，由于 Krishna 的,的安排，当这样一个人他的躯体完结的时候，或者是当他获得一具新新的躯体的时候，他甚至都不会注意到、意识到这一点。So he's compared to the drunk man who doesn't know whether he's wearing his clothes or not. 这就好比一个醉汉，喝得酩酊大醉的人。And Lord Rishabdev also describes the qualities of great devotees. He says Mahatmas are always equipoised. Lord Rishabdev 也描述一位伟大奉献者的品格。他说到这样一位奉献者，他。They don't see any difference between one person and another. They're very peaceful, and they're always engaged in devotional service. And they work for the benefit of others. Their only interest is to become Krishna conscious and to increase their love for Krishna. They are not interested in anything not related to Krishna, so they are not interested in mixing with people who are in the bodily concept of life. And they're not even attached to their homes, although they may be householders. They're not attached to their homes. 这样的人也许是居家之人，但他们根本不依恋自己的家。And they're not attached to their families and their friends or their money. At the same time, they're not neglectful. They take 
they do their duty. Right? Their, int they, their interest is just to have enough money to keep the body and soul together. That's the main thing. Then they're happy. So they're free from all disturbance, all attractions of maybe love and hate. They're equal towards friends and enemies. So because they because because they have this peace of mind, this inner peace, so they they don't get angry and uh they're they're They think about being merciful, how to benefit others. Their and their aim in life is to become the friend of Krishna. So they don't have an interest to associate with people who are who are interested only in their material bodies, interested only in material life. Huh. So they use this, they, the the devotee will only use with the the, with the the least energy required just to maintain their material body. If, so Krishna said, if somebody is always attached to me, always attached to Krishna, and they don't have desire for their own sense gratification, then they're really devotees. So these people, they get a, a special happiness in being with Krishna that cannot be known to those people who are not detached from the material world. The devotees dedicated to the Supreme Lord, then he's the real the real devotee must be dedicated to the service of Krishna. And these devotees have special qualities which are recognized. One is that they're not anxious to accumulate and to collect more material things. They're not disturbed by, the, they don't suffer from attraction and repulsion. It's not like they want, they like, 
It's not that they like one thing and they don't like another thing. They're equal. And they, they don't have any desire for their own enjoyment. But they have their they have an internal happiness which comes from their relationship with Krishna. So that happiness that can only be known by these pure Vaishnavas. Because Krishna is the servant of his own devotees. Krishna serves his own devotees, he's always eager to share with his devotees the love of devotion. Krishna says he is under the control of his pure devotees. Krishna he said, my pure devotees have no material desires, so I sit in the core of their hearts. And even if somebody is a devotee of my devotee, then he's very dear to me. So if somebody has very strong faith and he worships the Lord, then by that worship he develops the attraction to become a... He, he develops his attraction to Krishna and he becomes a great devotee. So faith should lead to attachment, attachment to Krishna and Krishna's service. This is the, 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 the symptom of advancement in Krishna consciousness. This is described by one of the nine Yogendras, the nine sons of Rishabdi, by this is described by Habi. And he says that Krishna is so kind to the conditioned souls that if they just call upon him by chanting his name, even unintentionally or unwillingly, then still Krishna helps them to destroy all their sinful reactions. So when a devotee who has actually taken shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, when he chants the holy name with pure love, then Krishna can never give up such a devotee. Krishna 
So you can see the difference that somebody chants, you know, un unintentionally or unwillingly, they get the benefit, they destroy sinful reactions. But somebody chants with pure love, then Krishna gives so much more. So the be the most advanced devotees they will worship the Lord in the form of Krishna. And the holy name of Krishna is not different from him. And when, when they chant also, even, the, even somebody chants without meaning to chant unintentionally, it will get rid of all of their sins. And Krishna in his pastimes, in his pastimes he's taken away the, the danger of the threat of any of the demons such as Agasura. Krishna's already killed them and given them liberation. So Krishna's pure devotees in Vrindavan, they have bound Krishna in their hearts and they, Krishna can never get away from them, he can never escape. So this describes about the most intimate devotees, how they relate with Krishna. Okay, so we will stop here. Shutizu the first is from Shuti Rupa Devdasi, Hare Krishna, obeisance to Guru and all teachers. But there are several questions. Uh, the first is uh, uh, should we connect everything with Krishna uh, in Krishna consciousness? For example, yesterday I saw a snake in the countryside. Should I saw it as that the Krishna is training me, training me to to uh, to get rid of the fearness things uh, and don't uh, to disturb those any uh, don't disturb any living entities and don't look down upon any living entities well there are exceptions to that rule generally we don't look down on any living entities but still Sometimes things like snakes and scorpions, 
They said the sadhu, even a sadhu, is happy when they're killed. It's stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, Prahlad Maharaj said that his father was but was very envious of other people. So they said envious an envious person is even more dangerous than a snake. So when the snake is killed, the sadhu is happy. So envious persons also, that we have to deal with them very carefully. So you see the snake, the snake can, the snake is envious because you don't the snake does not have any legs, but you have legs. So the snake is envious and he may bite you. So you have to be very careful in dealing with snakes. And usually we we have them killed. Because when you when they're killed, then they'll get a better body in the next they're free from that karma, they'll get a better body in their next life. The next one? Yes. There are some uh, new fighting who raise the question that um, in Christian consciousness, should we also train ourselves to sit down and meditate so that to control our senses if we sit down or uh, or walking while chanting the holy name is this or is it also a kind of yoga meditation yes it is chanting the holy name is yoga meditation we don't simply sit down and be and observe silence. We don't practice silent meditation. We practice meditation on the sound vibration of the holy name. And we also meditate on hearing the pastimes of Krishna. Just like when we hear people discuss Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita. That is also meditation. Uh, 
，嗯，他应当冥想是圣明的音阵，冥想 Krishna 的消失光，呃，冥呃，或者是讨论圣典国家法坛，冥想，冥呃，讨论国家放歌。The third one. Yeah. 呃，第三个问题，随着对 Krishna 之觉越来越深入了解，就越来越喜欢静下来独独处学习，不喜欢与人交往，浪费时间。My Guru， 这现象正常吗 ？Yes. 这样正正常。Yes, it's like. Is it? A... Go ahead. It it just is it normal that the. Uh, as we advance in Krishna consciousness, uh, Krishna consciousness, we we like to study alone. We don't like to waste time to um, to deal with others. Is it a normal phenomenon? Yes. 是的，是正常的。The the fourth one, yeah. 呃，第四个还有新人问，因为家人要吃肉。能不能用干净的锅烹饪素食供奉 Krishna？ 如果每餐只有一两样简单的素食供奉 Krishna， 这算不算 prasad 呢？感恩。呃、uh, ，Also there are some new family who ask, uh, if uh, our family members are still like to like want to eat meat, should we use clean pot to cook vegetarian vegetarian food to Offered Krishna, and if we only offer one or two, uh, two vegetar vegetable vegetarian food to offer Krishna, is it a uh, prasadam? Yes, but we 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 sh it's not very good to eat prasadam along with meat. 嗯，是的，但是，嗯。如果就是一边吃 prasad 还一边吃肉，这不好。Prasad is very pure food, and usually we'll take it on its own without things like meat. If you mix the meat there, then the prasad is no longer spiritual; becomes becomes affected. It's it's not. Pleasing to Krishna to mix the prasadam with meat. We don't want to do that. So somehow you have to be careful. Prasadam is very pure food. If we mix the prasadam and the meat and the vegetables together, 嗯，这个就不会令 Krishna 感到非常高兴，因呃，最好是独自的荣耀，单独的荣耀 Prasad， 因为 Prasad 是灵性的，倘若跟肉食混合在一起的话，它就会受到影响，所以要小心。Next one. Yes. Okay. okay. 下次下一个，我们来看一下老真的发布的问题。顶拜，亲爱的马拉的顶拜，顶拜您。奉献者的联谊如此重要，奉献的仁慈如此重要。问题：奉献者对待我的所有奉献行为都是仁慈的吗？都是在帮助我灵性进步的吗？有的奉献者激励我，有的关怀，有的斥责，有的批评，有的赞美，这些都是 Krishna 的安排。目的是净化我，向 Krishna 迈进嘛？如果是，如果是的话，我会全面接受跪拜你。Obeisance to dear Mara. Uh, it's so important to get association with devotees, and it's uh, their mercy is so important. The question is that uh, is all, um, all behavior from devotees, uh, are. All devo devotees' behavior merciful, uh, uh, for the intention of helping me to advance in Krishna consciousness. For example, some devotees they will inspire me. Some uh, 
take care of me, show caring for me. Some they will chastise me, some will criticize me, some will praise me. Is this all arrangement from Krishna to purify me, to walk toward, towards Krishna? If it is, I will accept it wholeheartedly. Thank you and obeisance to you. Yes, a devotee should think that this is all Krishna's arrangement. If the devotee is criticizing us and uh, showing some anger towards us, we should think this is Krishna's mercy. The Krishna wants to take away my false ego to purify me. And when the devotee is praised, when somebody praises you, then you think Krishna is just trying to encourage me. I don't deserve all of this praise, I don't deserve what Krishna is doing, but Krishna just wants to encourage me. So devotees always see the arrangement of Krishna in everything. So if Yes. Even though the devotees may not be pure devotees, but still devotee will see We'll think this is Krishna behind everything. Okay. Hare Krishna Gurmara, please accept my humble obeisances. If Krishna wants us to return to the spiritual world, then he is sorry for our foolishness. Uh, Krishna Yes. Yeah, Krishna is sorry that we're so stupid, we're so foolish to try to be in this material world. Therefore, Krishna makes many arrangements to try to bring us back to the spiritual world. He sends his pure devotees, sometimes he will send pure devotees here to help us, to teach us. And sometimes he will come himself and perform different pastimes just to attract us. And he came to speak the Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna cares about us, yes. He's very sorry to see us suffering in the material world. So Krishna 
为因为我们在物质世界受苦，他他感到很难过。Yes. Next question. 好，那下一个问题。嗯。Yes. Yes. Sorry, Mara. Yeah, go ahead. 下一个问题。啊，下一个问题，下一个问题是 ，Home， 哈维克什呢？顶拜孤儿的莲花族，作为初级奉献者，一方面我应该与纯粹的奉献者联谊，另一方面我应该如何与身边有很多物质愿望的奉献者联谊呢 ？So Tom, Tom said, Hare Krishna, uh, he paid obeisance to your lotus feet, and he said that. As a neophyte devotees, on the one hand, I should try to associate with pure devotees. On the other hand, he asked, how can he deal with devotees around him who had many material desires? How to associate with this kind of devotees? Yes, we have to associate with them, but we don't. You don't have to associate. With their material desires, you have to associate with their spiritual nature and encourage their devotion. 是的，我们还是需要和这样的奉献者联谊的，但是我们不要和他们的物质愿望联谊，我们要和他们的灵性本性联谊，而且我们还要鼓励这样的奉献者。We have to think how to. They want to in, increase their Krishna consciousness. Although they have material desires, they also have some attraction, attachment to Krishna. So you have to encourage their attachment to Krishna. As we need to help them to strengthen their Krishna consciousness, although they have material desires, they still have some attachment to Krishna. So we need to encourage their attachment to Krishna. So we need to encourage their 鼓励他们对 Krishna 的依恋之情。OK。OK， 下一个问题还是来自阮真真发布的。经常得到教导说不要随意批判、评判奉献者，甚至任何人。然而，经典提供了那么多的评判标准，例如有三种奉献者、非奉献者。与奉献者的区别等等，这些知识如果不是为了评判，那是为了什么呢？不评判，至少还有辨别利益吧，如此才能判断什么是最好的联谊等等。Those are just p u b l i c i t a t i h e uh, it is all the, the there are always some instructions said that we shouldn't judge. Any devotee, even uh, any living entities, freely. But mm, there are so many judgment in uh, so many standard of judgment in the scriptures. For example, they uh, the, the the scripture distinguish there are three kinds of devotees. Uh, and also there are the distinction between devotee. Devotees and non-devotees, they are different. They are different, etc. So, uh, if they, this knowledge is not for the purpose of judgment, what's the purpose for? What's their purpose? Hmm. Well, in the beginning, we have to know how to distinguish. Between these kinds of people, as we become more advanced, then it will not make a difference. Ah, is this? At first, uh, we have to distinguish these people. But when we get advanced, uh, we can't see any difference. The devotee, because the devotee is so fixed in Krishna consciousness. The because the devotee is so fixed in Krishna consciousness that he's not going to be disturbed by other people who are impersonalists or who have material desires. Because he's so Krishna conscious, he will give Krishna consciousness to everyone. Because 
这样的奉献者，他们是呃已经是稳稳当当的处在了 Krishna 之节当中了，所以他们就不会受到。呃，轻易受到打扰，不会被那些非人格主义者啊，或者是有物质欲望的人们被他们打扰。他们只想把 Krishna 直觉给予别人，给予每个人 Krishna 直觉了。But in the beginning, we don't have much Krishna consciousness to give anyone, so we have to be careful where we associate. 但是，一开始的阶段，一开始时候，我们自己。没有多少 Krishna 直觉可以给予别人，所以呢，我们要特别小心我们的联谊对象。嗯、um, 嗯、um, ，He continued to say that if we don't make any judgment, uh, at least there should be any uh power of distinguishment. Discrimination. Uh, discrimination. Sorry. Yeah. Power of discrimination. Oh, yeah. We don't. Yeah. If we don't make any judgment. At least there should be the power of discrimination. Huh? Yes. Yes. He asked if we. Yes. Then maybe you have answered this question, and he said that. Uh, in this way, we can judge uh, what's the best uh, association. Uh, so that that's the whole core part of whole question. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. So the next, yeah. Yes, Mara. Yeah. So uh, the power part of the discrimination is there, but we said because it. He's so situated in Krishna consciousness, he only sees the good in people. He doesn't see any any bad in them. Um, just like the sun purifies everywhere, and the sun never gets affected. So the same way that these advanced devotees, they can go everywhere, they can be with everyone, they will not be affected. 同样的方式，一位进步的的奉献者，他可以呃去每一个地方，他可以和任何人打交道，自己却不受到任何的影响。But we see sometimes the top, the devotee who is on the topmost level may come down to the second level for the sake of preaching, because on the when one preaches, then you have to make distinction, you have to distinguish between people. 有时候我们看到，呃，处在最高层面的奉献者，他会把自己降到呃第二个层面，目的是为了传教。因为你要是，因为要为了传教的目的，你必须去区分，必须有这种辨别。We have to distinguish who are, who are the innocent and who are the offensive. 我们必须要区呃区别谁是一个无辜的天真无辜的人，呃那哪呃谁又是哪一些人呢？又是冒犯者。So that distinction to make distinction that's on the intermediate level for preaching. 所以做出这样的呃区分呃是。处在中间的层面上，目的是为了传教，他就做出这样的区分。Right, there's a pastime. Shila Prabhupada was preaching in one city in India, and he was teaching, and he was talking about materialistic people, and Prabhupada was calling them rascals and cheaters and like this, and he was criticizing a lot of materialistic habits. So one man got very upset, and he said. You know, you should be equal to everyone. You should see everyone equally. But Prabhupada said, "I am not on that level." 那
有一个例子，就是当圣帕帕德去在在印度传教的时候呢，他在一个地方，他就说了很多，嗯，无赖，那个骗子，就这样的混账这样的词，嗯，然后呢，有一个物物质主义者，嗯，然后就批评了很多，就是物质主义的习性，然后有一个人他就说，哎，你不应当这样说，您当。平以平等的视域看待一切，然后圣帕帕德就回答这个人说：“我还没在那个层面上，我不处在那个层面上。Yeah, ” Yeah, Prabhupada said, "I have to make distinction." 呃，帕帕德就说：“我必须做出区别、区分。” So, so later on, the devotees were speaking to this man, and they told this man. How Prabhupada was preaching the Bhagavad Gita all over the world. So when the man heard this, he said, "Oh, this is very good. This is, this is really、uh, seeing without discrimination to give everyone the chance to hear the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita." 后来呢，那个事后呢，圣帕帕德的门徒就对这位男子。就给他讲述了圣帕帕德怎样在全世界全传播科学呃传播国家放歌，然后这位男子听了以后就说：“哦，那那可太好了，这才是真正的，嗯，就是不做区分，没有呃，真正这才是一个真正的，嗯嗯，没有这种分辨的去传播的这样一个人才是真正的，嗯，这样平等的视域吧。”因因为他让每个人都有机会能够聆听到佛家梵歌。嗯。OK。嗯。OK。下一个问题是来自于李佳莹。李佳莹说：“顶拜咕噜，感谢你。想问一下，应该给予什么样的神圣名啊？”我们都是被蒙蔽的，无从判断，给不好的。万一对方对圣名冒犯，不是又麻烦了呢 ？So this devotee paid a visit to you. She asked that、uh, we should give the holy name to what kind of people? If uh, uh, because we are so covered up, so we cannot uh, we don't we cannot、uh, we don't know uh who should we give the holy name? Because if we, if the the others in it's not so, because if the situation is not so proper, uh, uh, and uh, the others make offenses to the holy name, it will make trouble. Well, we can give the holy name. We can chant the holy name to everyone. Um. We we can give the holy name to a anyone. Yes.、Right? Yes. Oh. Oh. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. We can give the holy name to all the people. 谁会接受圣名？所以我们给每个人这个机会，我们就是机会均等。Just like Narada Muni, he's going everywhere chanting the holy name, and he gives the holy name wherever he goes. 就像 Narada Muni， 他所到之处，他都会在呃唱诵着圣名，所以他嗯是到处在派发着圣名的。By the mercy of Narada Muni, many materialistic people became devotees. 正是由于拉尔穆尼的这个这份仁慈呢，很多物质主义者都转变成了奉献者了。So we give the holy name. We shouldn't discriminate. We don't make distinction who's qualified and who's unqualified. We give everyone the chance to chant the holy name. 所以，当我们在派发圣名的时候，我们不做区分，呃，这个人有资格，那个人没有资格，不是的。我们给予每一个人。呃，机会来唱诵圣名。So chanting the holy name is a, we we have to chant ourselves, 
and we, 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 don't, we don't mind who hears the holy name. Everywhere we chant, to every living entity, even to the trees, even to the, even the snakes and the monkeys. Yeah. So Panchatava Prabhu pay obeisance to you and all devotees. He said, Muchkunda mm, Maharaj uh, uh, get benediction, got benediction because he served the demigods. Uh, because he is already a devotee, why did he serve demigods? Well, the demigods were fighting the demons, and the, de the demigods are devotees, so he went to help the devotees against the demons. Just like, you know, if a, if a devotee is being attacked, then we should want to go and help that devotee. <laughs> Uh yeah, he didn't go there to worship the demigods. He just went to help them. Mm. So that there's no harm to do that, because the, demigo the demigods are engaged in service to Krishna. They're, they're helping Krishna to maintain the order in the universe. So, Mujigundavang,他帮助他们是没有坏处的,因为半神人们,他们的职责就是维系宇宙的秩序。所以半神人他们从事的是对Krishna也在被Krishna做着服务。Okay. Okay, okay. The next one is from A.S. 顶拜咕噜,所有奉献者,请问,嘟嘟胆狂妄不大,既贪婪嫉妒,但他又是政治家,军事家,对朋友也照顾。this devotee paid obeisance to you and all devotees. He asked uh, about Do you then, uh, who is very proud and very envious? Uh, and at the same time, Do you then is a politician and a military man and also caring for his friends? So, how to see? This kind of people. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, Duryodhana has some good qualities. We don't deny that. But he's against Krishna. He was against the Pandavas. He was opposed to the devotees. Yes. Yeah, you find you can find good in everyone, but you have to also look at their other side. You have to see also their bad qualities. Um, 
上呢，我们可以从每个人身上找优点，但是呢，我们还要看到他的背面还要看到他的坏品质。Just because someone has some good, you cannot. It doesn't mean that they can do all bad. They can do all the bad things. There, you don't have a lot of bad qualities. You're only speaking about some of his good quality about his good qualities. What about all of his bad qualities? Hmm. Uh, is. For example, a 不等于他就可以去做坏事儿，嗯，因为他做的坏事就会有很多的坏的品质。同样的呢，你不能光看他的好品质，你还得看到他的所有那些恶劣的品质。Yeah, we know Duryodhan was doing a good job. He was a good ruler. He was doing quite well as a king. But he didn't want to give any land. He didn't want to give anything to the Pandavas. 嗯，确实，杜优丹呢，他作为一个统治者，他作为国王，他的工他的嗯工作干的不错，干的很漂亮。但是呢，他却不想呃给予潘的五兄弟一寸土地都不想给他们。And, and look at all of his offenses. In dealing with the Pandavas and the and Draupadi, and they're they're pure devotees. They were he was very offensive to them. 嗯，你就看看他，就是他对于潘的吧五兄弟和周佩帝所做的那些冒犯吧，而潘度五兄弟和周佩帝都是纯粹的奉献者，他对他们做出了嗯种种的冒犯。So Krishna can tolerate offenses against himself, but he cannot tolerate offenses against his devotees. Krishna, he is able to tolerate offenses against himself, but he cannot tolerate offenses against his devotees. And that's why Duryodhana was killed. Because Duryodhana did such a thing. So he was killed by the Pandavas. Okay, yes? Okay. The next question is from S. Dwight Vastra is also a great book. He is a great leader, he is a great leader, he is a great leader, but he is a great leader. How do you think about this person? He is a great leader of the Guru Lian. So this devotee uh, continue to ask uh, about the little pastor who is very um, who read uh, scriptures and follow the religious principle and who govern the country, but the little pastor um, has done many harm to the Pandavas. So how to uh, make judgment to the little pastor? So a basis to your lotus feet. So, Dhritarashtra, he got the mercy of a devotee. Vidura, the Vidura was his brother, and Vidura came to him, and he came to preach to him, to save him from dying uh, a horrible death in living in the home of the Pandavas. Dhritarashtra was living just like a dog. In the home of the Pandavas, eating their food, all of his sons had been killed, and Dhritarashtra was still living with the, the people who had killed all, all of his sons. So Vidura preached to Dhritarashtra and got him to leave home, and Dhritarashtra went to the forest and he did some meditation and he gave up his body in the forest. He, he didn't go back to Godhead, but... I, I, 
I think he got impersonal liberation. Tajusan 所以这个区别就是他是得到了一位奉献者的仁慈 大学老师，他说他过去研究印度文学文化，知道博加范哥没看过。这周他说修习佛教几十年，转变成Krishna之觉，那都白修了，怎么解释呢？OK，好，呃，Amy, okay. uh, pay a visit to you and she beg forgiveness for following you because uh, of her. Um, because she she made you to wait for so long a time. Uh, she said last week she distributed one book to a college teacher who taught ancient uh, Ch Chinese. Uh, and this teacher have uh, uh, studied the ancient uh, Chi ancient Indian uh, has studied Indian culture and Indian literature and uh, no new Bhagavad Gita but never read Bhagavad Gita. Uh, she she said that she had practiced the Buddhism for uh, so many years, dozens of years, uh, 20 to 30 years. Uh, so if she practiced Krishna consciousness, then it will, uh, her her practice Former former Buddhist practice will be um, a waste of time, or, or be uh, it will be useless. So how can uh, I explain to her? You can explain to her that her Buddhist practice can be a foundation to her developing spiritual consciousness. 那您可以对他解释说，就是他以前的修佛，呃，对于他发展灵性的知识，呃，打下了一个很好的基础。Many of the main principles of Buddhism are in Krishna consciousness, but within Krishna consciousness, she will get much more. 许多佛教的这个原则，呃，在。也在Krishna知觉当中,但是Krishna知觉呢,可以给他提供更多的内容。The important point is, she has to understand that the Buddhism was an emergency situation. It was not an eternal religion. 要点就是要明白，这个佛教的出现呢，它是一种一种紧急，在紧急情况下出现的佛教。呃，这个佛教它不是一门永恒的宗教。Yeah, there was an emergency. The Brahmin, the Brahmanas had become corrupted, and they were encouraging people and killing all the animals and so on. So Lord Buddha came to lead people away. From the killing of animals. This Buddha, uh, 当时呢是
，就是 Brahmana 那些 Brahmana 们，他们已经腐化变质了，然后他们鼓励人们大肆屠杀动物，所以佛陀就在这种呃这种背景之下，佛陀佛祖就显现了，他是带领人们呃离开呃离开那些对动物的大肆屠杀。And these people were atheists. They could not understand God. So Buddha, so Buddha didn't teach them about God. Oh, But Buddha, the Buddha, one Buddha anyway, at least the Buddha we follow, he was an incarnate, he was God. So by following him they got perfection. 通过追随，呃，人们推随这样的，呃，追随他，这这这位佛，他们会得到完美。And we also, you can explain generally, people who practice Buddhism, their goal is to become the Buddha. They want to become one with the Buddha. They want to, they want that oneness. They think they can become the Buddha, but we're we're teaching that we never become the Buddha. But we should be the servant of the Buddha. 一般来说呢，就是呃，修佛的人，他们的目标就是成佛。他们就最终呢，他们会和佛呃合为一体，合二为一了。嗯，但是我们教导的是，呃，你永远不能成佛，不会成佛的。你只能，你应该成为佛的仆人。So to be the servant is more important than to be the Buddha. So, 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 you can discuss these points to her. If she's studying something which is not perfect, then why should she waste her time just because she's been studying it for 20 odd years? And if it's not right, then why should she keep studying it? She should, if she gets something better, she should recognize something is better there and give up the other thing. If she before, 不完美的一门哲学的话，那么他就是在浪费时间。如果因为如果他好几十年，他都在研习的是一个不对的、不对的内容的话，那么他应该意识到，他现在可以学习学习更多的内容，他可以认识到，他可以放弃以前那些不对的内容。We have many other people who also practice Buddhism for many years, and they've come to Krishna consciousness. And your practice as a Buddhist helps you to control the mind and to control the senses. So it's very good in Krishna consciousness. And Buddhists also understand the nature of the material world to be suffering, and we also agree with that. It's very good. 佛教呢，他们意识到这个物质世界的受苦的本性，嗯，所以呢，嗯
我我们也接受这一点，他们他们这么去接受是非常好的，他们能认识到这这一点。So have her read the Bhagavad Gita and see if she's interested. Try to get her and try. But important thing is also chanting. Get her to chant. 嗯。那您就可以帮助他来阅读《佛家放歌》，然后呢，看一下他对于《佛家放歌》感不感兴趣，还要帮助他呃开始念诵。Yes. Okay. Next one. Next one is Apatitabha says thank you, Maharaj, for your、uh, mercy, Hare Krishna. Uh, next is Chaitanya Rupa. Yes. Um, Amy said that uh, that. Uh, 因为上传的原因，呃，我们现在可以结束。还有一个问题，放到下一次可以吗？没问题，我们有时间。啊，好吧。继续。啊。下列来自于 Chaitanya Rupa d e v i d a s i 顶拜 Guru 奉献者，崇拜张 Ganesh Hanuman， 是为了通过这两位奉献者的仁仁慈得到主 Krishna 的仁慈，可以吗？对于 Ganesh Hanuman 与崇拜使徒传奇中的 Guru 有不同吗？ Chaitanya Rupa Devdasi paid obeisance to Guru and all devotees, and she she asked, "Um, is it okay that we worship Ganesh and Hanuman, these two devotees, to and through them, through their mercy, uh, then we get the mercy of Lord Krishna." So she asked, "Is it okay that we worship this?" No. Uh, huh? 不不行。We don't want to encourage that. You just worship Krishna, you get everything. All the demigods are included within Krishna. 呃，我们不可不想鼓励这样的崇拜。你崇拜 Krishna， 就是因为 Krishna 包含了所有的半神，所以。One devotee, one time, he wanted to worship Ganesh. Prabhupada said, "Oh, you can do it. You have to give me every month one hundred thousand dollars." 嗯，有一个奉献者，他曾经想崇拜 Ganesh， 然后是，他就帕帕德就对他说，你可以崇拜，除非你每个月给我十万美金。So Prabhupada didn't encourage this because. The problem is, people don't understand that Krishna is the supreme, and they think all the gods are the same. So, Papa, the, 并不鼓励，嗯，因为问题就出在人们并不明白 Krishna 是至尊，真的是至高无上的，他们以为，呃，半神人，跟他一样呢。Just like you want to worship Ganesh, so it's described in the Bhagavad, in the Brahma Samhita, Lord Brahma prays, and he describes that Ganesh gets the power to destroy obstacles by holding the lotus feet of Govinda. So you should worship Govinda. In Brahma Samhita, uh, this book, uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, in this book, uh, there is a, uh, there is a passage that says that. Ganesh, he 抓住 Govinda 的莲花足，所以他获得力量，能够摧毁一切障碍。之所以呢，人应当崇拜 Govinda. So you want to, you you want to destroy obstacles? You worship Lord Narsingadev. You can Lord Narsingadev can also protect you and destroy obstacles. 如果你想去除障碍的话，可以崇拜主 Narsingadev。主，你身上的队是给予奉献者保护，并且去除他们障碍的这位是，呃。We don't, we don't want, we don't want to encourage you to worship demigods. 我们不，我们不鼓励您去崇拜
半神人。And some people they worship Lakshmi, they want to get money, they worship Lakshmi. But Lakshmi is the concert of Lord Narayan. Lakshmi is always restless, very difficult to keep her in one place. But if you worship Lord Narayan, she's always with her husband. Uh -huh. Yes. How you waiting? Uh, so the, the host said that the host asked the devotee to uh, raise the question as far as this, those five questions and keep the question next time to raise. How many more questions do you have? Two questions. Well, we could take two questions, I think. Okay.嗯，呃，来自智敏，智敏，明白咕噜。呃，感恩你。那些不知道Krishna没准备好的人，修习飞云阁前的冒犯吗？飞云阁也有解脱，这种解脱是中心的，是一种融入泛光的解
，他感觉到自己好像是失去了灵性的个体性。Yeah. 所以后一部分。Yeah. 嗯 ，The next question， 谭家如何 ？So that's all for this question. For the last question, and there's a one more question. 哎，哦 ，There are two more questions raised. So, are you going to answer them all? Is one from Chaitanya Rupa? Yes, and uh, yes. Who's the Chaitanya Rupa said because what? now uh, suddenly there are two more questions raised. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, 那我们快点看，你奉献者有的在神坛上摆了 Ganesh 阿弥曼的立体神像，说是 Krishna 的护法，可以吗？呃、uh, ，some some devotee they. Uh, put Ganesh and Hanuman, the stack, um, the details of Hanuman uh, Ganesh, and they say that uh, they are protecting Krishna, protector no. of Krishna. So is that okay? No. Krishna is protecting them. Krishna isn't giving them power. 他们的力量源于 Krishna。Okay, next question. Okay, so this may be from new devotee. 嗯，花语，呃，顶麦布鲁在网上看到，无意间看到人自杀杀人，那个心不平静。请问，是他们的业报一定要遭此一劫吗？怎样祈祷？为他们？ So this devotee, this new devotee said that uh, this is good, and uh, sometimes I uh, saw some information on the internet that uh, someone they commit suicide, and also someone who kill others. And each time I feel very disturbed, and my mind is not peaceful. So she asked, "Is this their karma? Uh, so they must." Uh, endure this suffering. So how to pray for this unfortunate, unfortunate soul? How to f how to help this unfortunate soul? So yes, she, first uh, she asked that. Uh, is, is it their karma? So some yes, how and and also how to. How to pray? Uh, to how to um, pray for the for these uh, unfortunate souls? Well, pray for them. First of all, karma puts you in a situation, but it's not karma which forces you to act. We act through our own uh, through our own ignorance, through our own uh, independent will. Karma put one in a situation, but mm, it's not the karma cause, don't. Yeah, it's not the cause of action. We cannot say, "Oh, somebody's a murderer." Is their karma? That's not true. Okay. Okay. Is is 这样的，就是业报，呃，使人处，是业报，把一个人就是放在一一个特定的处境下，但是一个人采取什么样的活动，这个不是他的业报，他还是有自由意志。来选择他采取什么样的活动。So we cannot blame karma, we, but it's the misuse of our independence. Krishna gives us a little bit independence, and when we misuse the independence, that's what happens. 我们不能把一切都归咎于业报，嗯，这这种情况是由于他们误用了他们的独立性，他们误用了独立性。Yeah. Okay. Okay. The And how should we how should how should we pray for them? Chant Hare Krishna. Yeah.
就是哦，你可以唱诵哈利路亚为他们祈祷。OK，OK， 呃，海天亮，如果还说不能单独在家里崇拜主，你身上说不小心冒犯了，会家庭不和睦，是这样吗？呃，海天亮，如果 said that there is a saying that we cannot worship Lord in a day， 是呃，我 we should we cannot only worship Lord in a day in our home because if we make offenses， 呃呃 ，there will be disharmony。It will destroy harmony, the atmosphere of harmony in our family relationship. So she asks, "Is it true?" You should have worship of Gordy Tai. Just worship Gordy Tai. Don't try to worship all these. Don't try to worship Lord Narsingh Day. Okay. Guru said. 你应当崇拜高人尼泰，就崇拜高人尼泰就好了。呃，不要去，有呃 ，should she should should not worship 你你身上的 right right OK， 那就是你不要去崇拜你身上的，就崇拜高人尼泰。You're not even second initiated yet, I don't think. 呃，嗯，那姑说你可能你现在还没有得到二次启迪呢吧？ And your husband's not initiated yet. Oh, then your husband, your husband, has not yet got initiated. So you shouldn't be trying to do deity worship. You should just do simple worship of photographs. Then you don't worship the image. You just worship the photos. You can have a lot of pictures. And you can have Lord Narsingadev's picture on your altar, but that's not worship of Lord Narsingadev. We just keep Lord Narsingadev's picture on the altar, and we work, we sing Namaste Narsingaya. We sing the prayer to Lord Narsingadev, and that way we will get protection of Lord Narsingadev. Ah, then you you can in the altar, is uh, put Lord Narsingadev's picture, uh, put the picture. 不等于崇拜主名圣地，呃，然后呢，您就是唱诵 Namaste n a r s i n g h a y 这样的祷文，然后就能得到主名圣地的保护。Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Finished. Yes.、Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we got you a good one. Huh? Uh. Yes. Amy said that some said some. Final words. Okay, Maman Ganshi, Amy Ganshi, Guru Mani Ganshi, so the function is linked in Ganshi Nima Dwenti, Jufu Niman, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Gorbak Chavrinda Ki Jai, Haribo.